Hi there, and welcome to Boundary Break, a show where we basically take the camera anywhere we want. Today, we're going to look at one of my personal favorites, the GameCube version of Fantasy Star Online. So, sit back, relax, and hopefully we find some cool stuff to look at. So right off the bat, we have some interesting stuff on the main menu. Everything's separated into layers, kind of like in Super Smash Bros. Melee, with a flat image in the background. But for me, the most interesting thing is the Select Game Mode icon up here. It's split up into a bunch of different semi-transparent layers, and stacked together makes it look like a solid object. I think they do this to create the fade-in effect at the beginning of the menu. The character creation screen is also separated into multiple layers. There's just a lot more of them here. And honestly, I was just surprised to see that all those character portraits on the side weren't one single piece of art, and they're just stacked on top of each other. Alright, in the main hub area of this game, we'll see one of the issues with flying the camera around everywhere. A lot of objects that are outside of the player's main view are called out, so they're just invisible. Even in an area this small, there's a lot of stuff missing, unless you walk right up to it. That means in the main levels here, a lot of it's missing, so I'd have to run through every single room and every single floor just to find some cool stuff. So basically, it's gonna take a little bit. So for now, let's just stick with the hub areas. In the episode 2 starting area, we can take the camera outside and see that no, there is no massive spaceship out here or anything. It's just as small as it looks on the inside, and I didn't really expect an entire spaceship, but hey, you never know. Now the stars in this area are actually a sphere inside of another sphere of stars. Don't really know what the point of the other ones are, but whatever. And way in the distance I noticed this small speck, and if we fly all the way over there, it's actually an unloaded portion of the rest of the hub that you get to by teleporting. Now there's obviously a ton missing here, but there are some things loaded in still, including the wall, the spinning monitors, and the item boxes that float behind the shopkeepers over here. Now near these shops, if you go down this ramp, you can see a planet, and this planet is very important in the story of the game, but since there's so many clouds over the top of it, you can't really get a good look of what it looks like from up here. Now if we take the camera underneath it, we can see the bottom of the texture, with those clouds out of the way, we can actually get a better look and see that it's a world map of Earth that's been split down the center of America and then mirrored. So what do you know, after all these years, Fantasy Star Online just takes place on Earth. 